Today we check out these three plate compactors. Is it worth taking the risk with a bargain or should you invest in the best? Tested by Machinery Nation. In recent years, there have been a lot more options come to the market when it comes to plate compactors. And the other day, I heard of a story of a local contractor who was moaning that his machine had broken again. It turned out that he was using a budget machine for a commercial application. He had lots of multiple users. It was being dragged in and out of vans. It was being left out in all weathers. Not exactly the right treatment for a budget machine. So I thought, well, why don't we do this video so we can explain the difference between budget and top end. Let's check them out. Representing the budget end of the scale today, we have the Hyundai HYCP 5030. that has a 320 millimeter 12 inch plate, 78.5 cc unknown engine, weighs 50 kilograms, comes as standard with a wheel kit and a paving pad, comes with a one year commercial and three year domestic warranty. It costs us £490, including VAT, and as with many budget machines, it also comes in other guises from other manufacturers in different colours. Competing for the middle ground, we have the Lumag VP60 that has a 300mm 12-inch plate, a Lonsin 79cc engine, weighs 64 kilograms, comes as standard with a wheel kit and a paving pad, and comes with a two-year commercial and five-year domestic warranty. It cost us £575, including VAT. And at the top end, we have the Wacker Newson BPS 1030B that has a 320mm 12-inch plate, 127cc Briggs & Stratton engine, weighs 53kg, comes ready for a water dribbler, and comes with a one-year warranty. It costs us £1,002, including VAT. Right, first of all, let's check out how thick the plates are on the bottom, down the business end of it. So the Wacker Newson is coming out at 16.6 mil, which that is a fair thick plate. Because it is cast, it does vary in size. So the thickest point is 16.6. The Lumag here, there we go, 11.6 mil. So we get, we're getting thinner. And then the Hyundai, let's measure it there, as good as place as any, I reckon, is 6.6. .6. So big difference between all three. Down the cheaper end, thinner, up the more expensive end, thicker. Oh, makes sense. Right, let's check out these bits. All right, so say you want to be able to lift the machine, maybe onto a trailer, onto a van, or even into sight, into some footings on a house or something. Well, these two have got somewhere to lift it. The Wacker Newson's got this big bar at the front, put a rope around that, be able to lift it up nice and easy. The Lumag has got a really nice central hooking point there, right in the middle, but unfortunately the Hyundai hasn't got anything there substantial enough, I'd say, to be able to lift it up properly, so it'd be a manhandled job. Right, so handles, probably the most important part for the user, because you're going to be holding onto them all day. And Hyundais are quite basic, there's nothing revolutionary about them but they do fold they do fold over for storage or for transport so in the back of a van doesn't take up much space or in a shed it's nice and compact and they fold up they've got little springs up there so you fold them back up like so and then you've got a little clip there which you can lock them in with which it's a little bit fiddly but it goes in there eventually and then you'd be able to manipulate the machine a little bit easier and around and about so moving on to the lumag a lot more sturdy construction everything's very very solid the handles do fold up for storage like the hyundai but you do have to undo the bolts on each side which makes it a much stronger design especially when you're using it in a more heavier setting and then everything's all there nice tubular frame all the way up round and it all joins down to the side you've got anti-vibration down the bottom so when you're using it the handle is taking away that shock out of it and a soft grip top around the thing to make your hands nice and comfy and not get so cold on the metal. Right, next one. So with the Wacker Newton, it's the simplest but probably the most easiest to work with because that's in using mode, that's in transport mode. Nice and solid, got anti-vibration down the bottom, a little bit of a finger trapper there if you got that in the wrong place, I nearly found that out. But yeah, nice solid construction and it works. But what it doesn't have is if you want to sort of just lift it up or manipulate it a little bit, you push the handles forward, nothing locks in. It's, it's, it's wobbly, so when we start using them in a minute, we'll find out if that's an issue or not. Right, so Hyundai and Lumag both have wheel kits on the bottom, but the Wacker Newson doesn't come with one as standard, but it is an optional extra. Right, so let's check out these two and see how they are. Right, so the Hyundai one is quite flimsy, but all you do is pull that one up like that, and then fold it down around, and there you are, your wheels are underneath. And then to put it back up again into storage, there's a little more fiddly, because you've got to get this on these, these hooks. There's these two little hooks here. You've got to put that one up, but there's two of them. You've got to do that and then pull it down like so. Yeah, it works. 
but structure wise a little bit questionable all right so the lumag is on a tubeless steel construction which does look a lot lot stronger and then to put that one into place you just literally push that forward and fold it in underneath that is quite easy and then to pull that back pull that back out and then you've got this little rubber grommet in there and that just literally locks in so down and back in again very simple right let's get them loaded up and go and give them a go yeah We've come to a secret location in an old farm barn in the Devon countryside. We have some nice sculpings down here, which we are going to whack down with these beautiful compactor plates. More so with that one, as it's a whacker. But right, let's crack on, do a few stripes of each and see how we get on. Right, so they're all cold, so we're going to start them up individually and then do one line down through, park them at the other end and then compare to see what they are like each. We've got Hyundai, Lumag and the Wacker Newson. Let's crack on. I definitely took some warming up. Let's try the next one. Now time for the whacker. There we are. So the Hyundai took a lot more to warm up, but all three plates have done a very, very similar job. But on the Lumag and on the Wacker Newson, you could definitely feel that you had to hold them back. They wanted to go, they really, really did. Whereas the Hyundai just seemed a little bit more, you had to sort of help it along a little bit. Right, let's do a little bit more and see how we get on. Right, so I split this area into three. So we're gonna have one area for the Hyundai, one area for the Lumag, and one area for the Wacker Newson. Go around the circles, make it nice and flat. Let's see how we go. So you can definitely see some differences between the three. So now I'm going to split it the other way. So I'm going to do long strips, whack a up there, blue mag in the middle, and high and die down here.
right, so they all do the vibrate bit, but what about speed? So we're gonna do a speed test from that end of the shed all the way to the finishing line right here. Right, Hyundai, then Lumag, then Wackanoose, and let's do it. There we go. Next one. And the final one. I think there's a clear winner. Well, that was fun. Right, let's test the wheels on rough ground and then round it up. I think we can all agree that they've done the job. They compacted the sculpings down as they're designed to do. So I think it all boils down to build quality, longevity, and price. So starting with the Hyundai, yes, it is the cheapest machine we've got here out of the three, but it's definitely lacking in build quality. The wheel assembly is, well, extremely weak. It's got the thinnest plate, it's the lightest machine, and it all round just seems like it's not gonna last as long as the other two. So maybe if you've just got personal projects at home to do, it might be a good option rather than hiring, but if you want something that's gonna last a long time, it's definitely worth looking at something else. So the Lumag is only £85 more than the Hyundai, but what you get for your money is very obvious. It's a heavier machine, better build construction. The wheel assembly is, looks like it's going to last and is much easier to function. It's a much better machine all round. So I think it's suitable not just for homeowners, but landscape gardeners, builders, small construction firms, and perhaps driveway installers, it would be a very, very good option. And also, the commercial warranty and the domestic warranty is much longer than what it is of the Hyundai. So the Wacker Newson, it is an exemplary machine. It is absolutely faultless. It is designed, just everything has been thought about. It is a solid, solid construction. It's a thicker plate. It's a cast iron plate, so it corners perfectly because you've got those curves within the plate. And it's got a much bigger engine, which helps the travel speed, but yet still compacts as well as the other two. So that machine is really designed for the commercial user, large construction companies or groundwork companies where there's gonna be lots of different users they're all going to enjoy using it. Although it is lower spec, it doesn't come with the wheel kit and it doesn't come with a paving pad either. You can have them as optional extras and the warranty is only one year, whether domestic or commercial. But if you're looking for something for full-time use, then that is probably the machine to look at. And it also comes with a higher price. You know, you can nearly buy two of these machines for one of them. I think pound for pound, the Lumag sticks out like a sore thumb. It has got great build quality and comes at a good price. So I think if I was considering one of the three, unless I was a full on massive construction firm, this is the machine that I would buy. If there's any machines that you'd like us to review, please pop it in the comment section below or ping us an email, which you can find in our about tab. We're Machinery Nation and we bring you videos every Tuesday and Friday, all about tools and machinery. So make sure you stay tuned, stay subscribed, like this video and hit that notification bell. We'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.